So today uh, we bring to you the Ohandakari Wadakwa or the words before all else. So, um, you've all traveled here from many directions with concerns of your home, family, friends, co-workers, and maybe your, even your own agenda. So I ask that you put those concerns down and be mindful in this moment so that we may uh, be of one mind and begin the business of the day. This is what we've been instructed to do uh, before all business is taken care of and all business is important. So, and this shall come to pass when two or more have gathered. These ancient words are powerful because they remind us that we give thanks to the people first because we are the most vulnerable. Creation can get along just fine without us, but without creation, we will cease to exist. We stand humble before it, and therefore it is our main responsibility to the natural world and to Creator for its integral part in how we support that web of creation. Today, we have gathered to see that the cycles of life continue. And uh, we have been given the duty to live in balance and harmony with each other and all living things. I ask that you bring your minds together as one as we give greetings and thanks to each other as people. And now our minds are one. We are thankful to Mother Earth for she gives us all that we need for life. She supports our feet as we walk upon her. It gives us joy that she continues to care for us. And uh, for us as she has from the beginning of time. To our Mother we, we send greetings and thanks and now our minds are one. We give thanks now to the waters of the world, quenching our thirst and providing us with strength. Water is life. We know its power in many forms. Waterfalls, rain, mists, streams, rivers and oceans. And with one mind, we send greetings and thanks to the spirit of water. And now our minds are one. We turn our minds now to the fish life and all water creatures. They are instructed to cleanse the and purify the water. They also give themselves to us as food. We are grateful that we can still find pure water. And we turn our we now turn to the fish and send our breeze and thanks. And now our minds are one. To the plants. And we turn towards the vast fields of plant life. As far as the eye can see, the plants grow, working many wonders. They sustain many life forms. With our minds gathered together, we give thanks and look forward to seeing plant life for many generations to come. And now our minds are one. For the food plants, with one, mi with one mind we turn to honor and thank all the food plants that we harvest from the garden. Since the beginning of time, the three sisters, corn, beans, and squash, grains, vegetables, and berries have helped to sustain us. Many other living things draw strength from them too. We gather all the plant foods together as one and send them green and thanks. And now our minds are one. We turn to the medicine herbs of the world, especially remember, remembering tobacco, sage, sweetgrass, and cedar, 
from the beginning of time. They are instructed to bring messages to Creator and take away sickness. They are always waiting and ready to heal us. And we are happy they are still among us. And those special few who remember how to use these plants for healing. With one mind, we send greetings and thanks to the medicines and to the keepers of the medicines. And now our minds are one. We gather our minds together and send greetings and thanks to all the animals of the world, in which the leader is the deer, as they still give us their bodies for sustenance. They have many things to teach us as people, and we see them near our homes and in the deep forests, and we are glad they are still there, and we hope that that will always be so, and now our minds are one. We now turn our thoughts to the trees. The earth has many families of trees who have their own instructions and uses, especially the great maple. Some provide us with shelter and shade, others with fruit and beauty and other useful things. Many peoples of the world use a tree as a symbol of peace and strength. And with one mind, we greet and thank all the tree life. And now our minds are one. We put our minds together as one and thank all the birds who move and fly about our heads, of which the eagle is the leader. The Creator gave them beautiful songs, and each day they remind us to appreciate life. To all the birds, from the smallest to the largest, we send joyful greetings and thanks, and now our minds are one. We are thankful for the powers now we know as the four winds. We hear their voices in the moving air as they refresh and purify the air we breathe. They help to remind us of the change of seasons. And from the four directions they come, bringing us messages, giving us strength. With one mind, we send greetings and thanks to the four winds. And now our minds are one. To the thunders, now we turn. To the west where our grandfather, the thunders, live. With lightning and thunder voices, they bring with them the water that renews life. And we bring our minds together as one and give greetings and thanks to our grandfathers, the thunders. And now our minds are one. The sun. We now send our greetings and thanks to our eldest brother, the sun, each day without fail. He travels across the sky from east to west, bringing the light of the new day. And he is the source of all the fires of life. With one mind, send greetings and thanks to our brother, the sun. And now our minds are one. Grandmother Moon, we put our minds together and give thanks to our oldest grandmother, who lights the nighttime sky. She is the leader of all women all over the world and she governs the movement of the ocean tides. And by her changing face, we measure time. And it is the moon who watches over the arrival of our children all over the earth. With one mind, we send greetings and thanks to our grandmother, the moon. And now our minds are one. Now the stars, we give thanks to the stars that spread across the sky like the most beautiful jewelry. We see them in the night, helping the moon light the darkness and bringing dew to the gardens and growing things. We travel at night and they guide us home. With our minds gathered together, we send greetings and thanks to all the stars. And now our minds are one. We gather our minds and greet now and thank the enlightened ones who have come to help us throughout the ages. When we forget how to live in harmony and they remind us 
of the way of our original instructions. To live as a loving people, and with one mind, we send our greetings and thanks to these caring teachers, and now our minds are one. Now we turn our thoughts to Creator and send greetings and thanks for all the gifts of creation. Everything we need to live, a good life is here on this Mother Earth. And for all the love that is still around us, we gather our minds together as one and send the most choice greetings and thanks to Creator. And now our minds are one. And finally, if there is something that I have forgotten, we leave it to each and every one to send their own such greetings and thanks in their own way. And now our minds are one. <laughs>